Atmospheric rivers, heat domes, those are terms us British Columbians have become familiar with in recent years. But there is a new extreme weather term BC residents should start getting to know. Bomb cyclones. What does that mean? And how does it affect us right now? CBC's weather specialist Darius Madavi breaks it down. Well, finally happened. The return of rainy, stormy weather here in BC. And with it comes the return of terms like bomb cyclone to headlines. Luckily, it's not as scary as it sounds. Now, cyclone is another term that gets a bit of a bad rap, but it's just a low pressure system where the winds are swirling around that center of low pressure. Now, a bomb cyclone is a specific type of cyclone where the pressure in the center drops really quickly. So if you take a look here, see how these bars are all spaced out? And then over just 24 hours, see how close together they get? That means that the system is ex developing extremely rapidly. This also has names like bombogenesis or explosive cyclogenesis, which are cool, but don't tell you much. Now, bomb cyclones are fairly uncommon, usually forming in fall and winter, but they can bring extreme winds and really heavy rainfall. The bomb cyclone that we're seeing right now is expected to bring wind gusts over 100 kilometers per hour for parts of BC's coast and rainfall up to 150 millimeters for some parts of Vancouver Island. On the bright side, this has been called a fire season ender for parts of BC's coast just because of how much rain there's going to be. But given the historic drought conditions that we're in across the province, much of that water is just going to run off, raising the risk of flooding and the extreme winds could cause these drought stricken trees to just fall over. So there are some dangerous conditions, so please be careful. And Darius Madavi joins me now live. So Darius, we sent you out into the bomb cyclone. Where are you and how's it feeling out there? Uh, we're on top of Vancouver Public Library. It is feeling gray and wet and I know this was your idea so thank you so much for that. Uh, we are getting some of the rain here but right now it's just a drizzle. It was pouring a bit more uh, earlier today around noon but we have calmed down a little bit. Meanwhile, things have picked up for some parts of Vancouver Island. So let's take a look at the radar. You can see here some, uh, some of that rain moving over the island. It's heavy in some places, and that is just one of the things that this bomb cyclone, if you want to use that term, uh, is bringing. We also have some extremely heavy winds that are still, or strong winds, sorry, that are still happening on the island and off the coast. In some places, gusting as high as 80 or 90 kilometers per hour. Some of these wind warnings have been dropped by Environment Canada, but others are still in place, especially on the central coast and the north for the North Island. So keep a watch out for that, especially considering how dry things have been, how drought stricken the trees are. Those could come down fairly easily. And of course, we need to keep an eye on the rain because even over the next 48 hours, tomorrow is the last day. The system will really be uh, bringing full force, but remnants of it will still be around Wednesday and Thursday. So we can take a look here and see a lot of that rainfall accumulating over the next 48 hours. Still seeing as much as 150 millimeters in some of these places on the island places that have already seen upwards uh, well into the double digits of rain over the last 24 hours. So we'll have to keep a lookout because we are definitely at risk of flooding in many of these places just because of how dry the ground is. All right, Darius, we're going to hear from you again in a little bit. Thank you. In the meantime, do stay dry out there.